What is going on guys? Fishing Nate back once again and I am coming to you at 6.28 a.m. Let's try that again. 6.28 a.m. on a Saturday, February 23rd. And you know, I was thinking, I was like, why do we do this? Why do fishermen wake up at 6 a.m.? I woke up because I woke up half an hour ago, got ready. Why do we wake up at 6 a.m. on a Saturday when we could sleep in until 10 or 11? And I'll tell you why. And obviously it's going to be different uh, because I like power bait fishing. I think it's one of the greatest things in the world. And I like trout fishing, you know, bass fishermen, the answer is probably going to be different. But when you're power bait fishing and you're out there, you cast out your power bait into the water and you know what, you know how you cast out your rods into the power, your, your rods into the water and you're just kind of like, all right, well, here we go. And you're just kind of standing there. You're like waiting around, you're sitting around and you kind of sit there and you start daydreaming, you know, you're daydreaming and you're just thinking about other stuff like finally getting a lift kit on that truck and uh, you know, maybe some nice tires too. And then you, you see the price tag and then all of a sudden your drag starts to peel like 60 miles an hour goes you know and then you're like oh my god you're like i gotta go oh, get my get my get my rod get you know, at the fish and you you stand there you stand and you look at your rod you're like okay you know you see your line being taken out you're like you're like oh let's go let's go so you pick your rod up you reel in and that is probably my favorite part more than anything is um thinking about getting a lift kit just kidding uh my favorite part is when you uh you know is, is when you're just daydreaming and you snap out of your daydream that's probably my favorite part you know when you're like oh my god it's time to go guys and then you stand you, you get to your rod you look at it and you're like we did it we managed to trick this fish into biting on the power bait that would probably be my favorite part of power bait fishing so comment below what is your favorite part of power bait fishing is it like mine or is it completely different when you get to take them home and you get to eat them and we're gonna do a little bit something different we're gonna take you down south of the border for some fish tacos we're not we're not literally going south of the border uh, but you know figuratively speaking uh, culinarily we're gonna take you south of the border for some fish tacos guys you know go ahead get in head down to the lake we're already all loaded up and we are going to go and do some damage to the local trout population and uh, have some delicious, some delicious fish later. Mansell Carter Oasis Park, without a doubt, one of the nicest parks that I have ever been to in my entire life. You know, what other kind of park has this nice road that goes in with all these street lights in the middle and a median with trees and brush and all this stuff? Like, this, this thing costs money to operate a park like this to make it so nice. You're paying people to come out here and maintain the grounds for you like every week, you know? Uh, this stuff costs money and check this out. You have like this little ranch thing. You have a roundabout here, first of all. And then you have this little like ranch sign that looks like you know you're you're coming up in the in the wild wild west. One of these things. I'll get a little of that. Mansell Carter Oasis Park. What the heck? Yeah, it's nice. Anyway, we're getting in. About to pull in and uh, see what these trout are up to. See if they're willing to buy on some of this power bait. Let me see if there's anyone here. No, it's pretty quiet only like two or three cars in the parking lot some guys fishing on that over there down there over by that uh, pavilion but other than that pretty quiet not too much action I think the water levels are pretty high it's been raining like crazy the last few days here in Phoenix it actually snowed in Scottsdale like a foot of snow which is just crazy for, for Arizona at all the snow but we're here guys let's get to it all right, guys, here we are. Make sure you get down your ro local rules and regulations. We got four rainbow trout. Get me some of this see, fluorescent orange. I think there was some in here. Yep. Fluorescent orange and the corn. Good stuff here. 
pinch it around a bit, mix it and match it. Then you just put it in your hand and roll that up. Boom. Finally, coming up here, squeeze that on there. Just like that, there we go. Let's go ahead and try it over here, move a little further this time. All right, should be good. This, we might have our first fish. I think we're on. Feels heavy. Yep. Guys, the corn and the fluorescent orange. Nice short leader. Whoa, look at him. Look at him go. Yep. There we go. First fish of the day. Took a few minutes. There he goes. Man, these rainbow trout are so beautiful. It's like a shame that we eat them, you know? But hey, they don't, you know, I don't feel as bad because it's a put and take kind of situation. These trout ain't gonna make it. The, they, these trout don't live very long once you, once you get out into the heat. So, corn and the fluorescent orange, always, a, always a producer. That's bouncing up and down. This is the hot rod. It's the hot rod. All right, guys, we got trout number two. Oh, we may have found the bunch. We may have found the bunch. Oh, no, yeah. Yeah, right here, man. That's the honey hole. These are like, what, 13, 14 inches? Certainly not not too small like in past years. They've been a little bit like closer to like 10 or 11 inches Yeah. Oh, man Yeah, those incentive trout were huge man They're really feisty Yeah, they're really feisty in the cold water He's getting all tangled up. He's a fighter All right, that's enough That's enough Good lord, he's all st stuck in my stringer. All right guys, doing a quick update for you. We got two on the line right now. We got two on the stringer right here. And it is really clear water. You can actually see, surprisingly enough, for a, a body of water in Phoenix, you can actually see past one foot. Like I said, that's just crazy. And we are working real hard right now, waiting for the last two trout to bite. Get our limit of four. Always follow your rules and regulations, guys. Make sure you do not take more than the limit says. Check it out, guys. We got a bunch of people fishing. Look, there's the guy right there. Some more people over there. Another guy over there. You know, I think someone's at the pavilions right there. And then you got this guy over here on the bench. And then I'm fishing over here. Caught, we did really, it was like really hot for like the first half an hour, 45 minutes, caught two like almost right away. And then since then it's been really slow. Um, yeah, and if things get desperate, I brought my jigging rod so we can uh, we can go try out the mini jig, see if we can, we can get some trout on the little mini tubes and that'd be cool. But if not, uh, we'll just, I mean, it's still a great day. I got two trout. Took long enough. We are on trout number three. Come to me. Here we go. Trout number three. Yep. Yep, here we go. He's a big one. Oh, 
strong. Man, again, on the corn and fluorescent orange, staying, continuing to produce. It's a strong one. Holy cow. It's a good one right here. I've been catching them all day right out here. I've been catching them all day right there, guys. Same spot on the same kind of baits. He's a tank. This one is a tank. This one is a tank, I'll tell you that. This one's a huge boys this one's huge like I'm telling you guys the fluorescent orange and the corn absolutely deadly as you can see this one is a huge this one's a beast I mean I seem to catch a big one every now and then hey it's a female yeah look at that Alright guys, got a hit. Got a hit. He just he just he just blew up up there. He just blew up right there. You see that guys? He just blew up right there too. Fish on. Chartreuse and the garlic. He just busted up right there too, guys. Hell yeah. Fish on. He's not that what he's not he doesn't feel big, but he's fighting hard. Whoa. Oh my God. I should have just brought him in. Hook fell off. Oh my God. All right, guys, so we did not quite get our limit today, although we pushed super hard. I've been out fishing since 7.30 this morning, so it's been 106, 107 right now, so it's, uh, I've been out for quite a while trying to get that last one after the last one got away, but uh, lesson learned, so next time, there's only one more trout stocking, so next time, we're gonna crush it. So I'm gonna go home, clean out the trout, and then we're gonna do these trout for dinner. So I'll, uh, I'll show you guys what I'm doing in a few hours. Now, the best flavor, hands down, is mesquite charcoal. This is the stuff you wanna get. And I actually went down to the Mexican grocery store and picked up this huge bag, 40 pound bag of this mesquite charcoal for $12, okay, you get 40 pounds for $12. This, you can get this at Walmart, guys. If you don't have a Mexican grocery store in your area, you can just go to Walmart, Home Depot, they carry this Royal Oak, all natural hardwood lump. So the El Diablo, you know, you get big blocks like this, like this big, you know. You get like huge pieces of wood, just like, you know, big, big lumps here. You know, nothing like, nothing small. You get like a, you get like a whole branch right here, right? And that's the El Diablo. On the other hand, so that burns really long um, and it burns really slow. You get that nice mesquite flavor that continues to, to burn while you're grilling. But if you look at the, uh, the Royal Oak, on the other hand, the Royal Oak is like, you get small little pieces, you know, like this big. So you want to have, I like having a mixture of both because I mean, the lighter fluid makes this stuff catch really quick. Um, and then once it gets going, it, it kind of just, it's like starting a normal fire. The fire starts and it spreads over to the, uh, to the, the mesquite charcoal, the big ones. And then that helps the flame keep going and keep burning steady and stronger.
All right, guys, so we are finally ready to eat after grilling, getting these sauces ready. And let's just go ahead and start with some of these corn tortillas and get some of this fish right here. And this fish just falls right off the bone. I mean, you don't even have to, they've already cooled down, but you don't even really have to work to get them off. That's when you know they're done. Falls right off the bone. Get yourself some fish right there. Let me, let me start with some of this chipotle mayo right here. Really good stuff. Just drizzle a bit of that chipotle mayo on here. Oh man, that's looking really good. My mouth is watering. A little bit of pico de gallo on top right there on the side. And then we're going to finish off with some of this avocado tomatillo sauce right here. The green sauce. Ooh. Man, that's looking good. Check that out. Wow. Garnish with a little bit extra lime here. Whew. And we are just, I'm gonna get this seed out. And just like that, you got yourself a nice fish taco on the power bait from Lake to taco. You gotta bite of this. Wow. That's something else. Hmm. Getting a lot of the tomatillo sauce. You can really taste the mesquite wood coming through in the trout. Which is really nice. Mmm. And trout is such a mild fish. And then you have all these fresh ingredients that make it taste really, really fresh. Can't forget the jalapeno. Look about that. And all those ingredients, like I was saying, they're so fresh and they really bring out that natural, mild, sweet taste of the trout. Guys, this is a real hit. Great, they go great together. Trout and mesquite wood. If you don't have mesquite wood, that's okay. Get the uh, the one that I showed you, the royal oak. Anyway, guys. That's already one fillet down. I'm gonna have to get a little more there. And look at this fish. Blackened. Perfect. Just a little bit of char on there. Get some of this right here. I think that's the fin. Right there, just like that. Nice crispy skin. Just turn it around and the meat just comes right off. Look at that. Seared. Seared by the flame. Oops. Anyway, guys. I'm just gonna get to eating. If you like fish tacos, you like this catch and cook, hit that like button. And if you want to see more content like this, you want to see more catch and cooks, more trout fishing, subscribe, and I'll see you guys in the next video.